Good morning, welcome back to the channel. It has been a couple of weeks for that, I do apologise. Um, I did have a good excuse though. Uh, I've moved on from the Xbox. Xbox is packed up, gone, with its new owner. Um, never ever will I have it again. have uh, customised a PC and uh, couldn't be happier. I know I was meant to be an advocate for Xbox, that's what this whole channel was all about, but I just couldn't keep doing it. Um, Microsoft and Asobo uh, were not doing much for the Xbox um, console simmers at all. Um, in fact, they've pretty much written out Xbox as being a viable option for Flight Simulator. So I went and bought a, um, a moderately monstrous PC um, and uh, this is my first flight on it, which I'm sharing with you. And as it happens, it is also the first flight of the, um, of the Horizon Simulations Boeing 787-9 on the channel as well, um, which is awesome. I flew it last night as soon as it dropped uh, for the public. It is an amazing high fidelity aircraft. I love it so much. Um, we'll see how we go with the landing, uh, but um, anyway, let's get into the flight deck and get things set up and underway. All I've done is um, I've turned on the power um, and that's pretty much it. So we are good to uh, get everything set up and um, hopefully it doesn't take too long and we'll be in the air. Okay, so we are here in the flight deck. Um, we've also, there's a lot of add-ons that I've got um, now. Um, Let's double check that sim brief is okay, it is, yeah cool, so in New Zealand, 4532, Nandy, um, excellent, let's um, import some things, now this is all fairly new to doing this, so I'll fumble my way around it, but um, I'm pretty sure I remember how to uh, get it all in there, this is um, importing um, sim brief data, um, so that's the weights and balances imported, there we go, <laughs> route request, Far out. Um, yep, thank you. Load. And activate. Excellent. So we do have to put some more information in uh, from the uh, flight plan itself. It doesn't do the whole thing. But if I go into my preview. So I've got multiple screens here. So if you see me looking away from you, uh, it's don't take it personally. Um, I haven't got a control cam either. For some reason, I cannot get both cameras to go. Um, today, even though I did have them going yesterday, and also I've been sick all week as well, uh, so excuse my voice for sounding a bit croaky, um, I almost had to cancel this um, this flight, but um, I'm pressing on, I'll try not to cough um, into the microphone um, at all. Uh, anyway, uh, so we're going from 2, 3, left, that's 3, that's just not going to work. We're also going to get used to um, clicking off on other screens, it uh, deactivates this screen, and you have to um, click back on it for it to work. Just so very different to the Xbox. Okay, cool. So execute that. Um, now I'll go next. Just it was a very, very, very short flight plan, but we are pretty much flying over half the Pacific, so there's no not really any waypoints there. Uh, departure and arrival. So we're departing. Runway two three left is selected. It'll be on the memo at two P, which is right there. Uh, transition. Kalag. Execute that. Uh, go back to arrivals, and we're coming on an ILS 02. That could change to Arnav 20, which scares me because I've not done an Arnav in the uh, 78 just yet. Uh, transition is uh, NN. Cool. Legs, let's just double check. That looks fine. The fact is at the end it's after we arrive, so that's fine. Uh, but I am going to, uh, where is my nav? There we go. Um, let's just, my frames just dropped a little bit there. Why did that not update? I'm going to have to do this the old fashioned way. I've got pop outs and everything um, shows up. I can show you anyway. Change that to 40. I'll just step through. I have a funny feeling there's some weirdness happening um, at the other end. Yes, there. I knew there would be. I knew it. Uh, so we're going to fix that. Okay, we'll take MI and we'll chuck that there. Execute. Ah, that's much better. That is so much better. 
Sweet, it's a straight in approach just about. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. If you're happy, I'm happy. Um, okay. So we need to put in some values here. So I'll get all this from the um, white plan as well. It's also in pounds. I, I don't think you can change it to um, to kilograms, but that's fine because I don't need to know the metric imperial conversion because I've got the numbers in front of me. So 333, that's not 333. That's 333 decimal six pound. Uh, yeah, is our zero fuel weight reserves. I don't think there's any reserves. We'll go zero. Cost and decks for New Zealand in the uh, wide bodies uh, is 45, apparently. I found that in a document. Don't know if it's actually still accurate. Uh, thrust limits. No, we don't need to do anything in there. Uh, takeoff. Ah, this is the cool thing. This is what I like. Alrighty, so we have to come over here to the EFB. So I'm going to go initialize flight. And then performance um, and then I do need to put in my current Q&H which in Auckland is 3021 I will bring up the weather um, like I usually do uh, soon as well that hasn't changed 3021 uh, so copy FMC data um, I've got to put the wind in myself so it's a 150 at 9 knots outside air temperature is a chilly 12 degrees centigrade it's quite cool considering it is um, October and it is um, 20 to 11 in the morning I thought it would be warmer in Auckland and um, that's all fine thrust rating will be optimum uh, flap configuration will be optimum and um, uh, that'll be on engine auto right calculate oh there we go Let's press and hold it longer Okay, cool. So I don't need to worry about what any of that says. Um, I mean, the information does make sense. Um, it's got our VREFs. It just calc it calculates everything. So we're going to copy, uh, send output is what we're going to do. If I go back to here, it does absolutely nothing. Am I not holding these buttons long enough? Send output. There we go. <laughs> Um, takeoff uh, data ready to accept or reject uh, on the takeoff reference page, which is, I think that's what we're actually just in. Takeoff, um, accept, yeah, we were, we were just in there. Um, so we need our center of gravity. 3.75 is our trim. Now, I don't know if I'm meant to put that in myself, but I have got a key bound. Um, to my yoke, so I can put that in. I mean, it is showing there, but I, oh, I don't know. Do I put it in? Let's put it in anyway. What what harm could it possibly do? And uh, everything else is all fine. Take off. Remember, flaps are five. Yeah, cool. Go back to. Oh, we're already in in that ref. I do that all the time. Uh, take off. We've done approach. Oh, I don't have to worry about any of that until um, we are on approach. VNAV, uh, climb forecast, a request, this is the wind data, request sent, it should come up with a um, message down here, load in the RT data page, okay, cool, climb forecast, yep, sweet, thank you, descent forecast is also ready. Um, before I do that, I'm going to put in our um, transition altitude of 13,000 feet for Auckland, it's actually also the same in uh, Nandy as well. Oh shit. That's just going to override. Flight plan is ready um, to load or race. Okay, we'll just ignore that because I've pressed the wrong button. I need to go to um, RTE. Let's just try that again. Climb forecast. Oh, load. Oh, there we go. Okay. So then we've got to go to um, back to climb and then page three. I think. Yes, forecast. Transition altitude is one at three is zero in Nandy. And then we're gonna load our descent winds as well. Uh, that's done, that's it. We're in. Okay. So our altitude is gonna be 410, which is, seems to be the standard altitude for the 787 to fly at. It gets up there like there's no tomorrow. Like a it is just such an amazing aircraft. So 410, um, I also need to know our bearings. So departure airport. I've got some charts. I've got Navigraph. 
um, charts, which I kind of think you do need, which is a shame because it costs $141 a year, but I think it might be worth it. I should be able to bring this up. This should work. Yes, it does. Uh, airports information runways. Uh, information on there. What are we looking for? The bearing 231. Okay, cool. So we can put that in. Yeah, I don't know why that's not working. Uh, 231 is our heading. Okay, and you know, I didn't do, I didn't get our uh, 150. So I'm not sure because I can't find information on this, but I'm pretty sure it's um, V2 plus 10, the same as the 737. I could be wrong. We're going to do it anyway. Uh, we do need to turn some stuff on, so we need auto thrust on. We need our flight directors. We need VNAV, LNAV. Okay, cool. Um, that's it set up, I'm pretty sure. Have I missed anything? I feel like I've missed something. Ident, oh, yeah, we've got all that in. Ah, oh, why is this information missing? And how are our IRSs aligned without it? Okay, so all we're going to do now is uh, push back and start and get on our way um, to um, Nandy across Pacific. The frame rate of this airport is shit. This is the, um, I can't remember who's, who's this is. I'll put the links to um, any um, add-ons below. This is a paid add-on. It is from the Marketplace, but you can get it from their website. Um, and it, it's, it looks good. It's a bit grey, but Auckland is a bit grey. Um, but the frame rate is just not great. No bloody wonder I had nothing but crashes to desktop and the Xbox um, at this airport. Uh, Nandy's also an add-on as well. Hopefully it's a lot better. But um, I'm going to leave it there for now because I've driven on enough. And uh, I'll come back. We'll um, get some um, all the passengers. We'll pretend that they're loading right now. I'm not going to use I'm not going to use GSX for that because you can't speed it up very much. Um, but we'll use GSX for the pushback and start. Um, and um, yeah, we'll get on our way and um, I'll show you what this amazing, just incredible release from Horizon Simulations can actually do. Okay, we are good to um, get things underway. So if we go to the overhead, we do need to turn on an APU. Um, it starts up really quick, which is really, really cool. While that's starting up, we will um, uh, put the passenger seatbelt signs on and we will... Um, now this choppy frame rate, I've worked out, it is GSX that is causing it. Because uh, as soon as GSX is all finished, um, it uh, the frame rate gets a lot better. So it's GSX and this airport. It's quite a heavy airport. Cool, there goes our jetway. I can hear our APU starting up. That's a bit smoother. Oh, it looks so good. That's it. That's the APU up and running. That's so quick. Um, so we can... Oh, it turns itself all off. Uh, we'll leave everything off for now. Uh, beacon light does need to come on. Uh, we probably should turn on our hydraulics as well, actually. And the fuel pumps. And the window heat. I think that's it for now. Packs that all stays off. Cool, we are ready to ooh, ready to for our frame rates to drop down to six. Um, let's get our pushback done. Prepare for pushback and departure. And there should be someone walking over here somewhere. I don't know why just the frame rate is terrible. Come on, where are you? Robot ground crew, come on. Oh, there we go. And wait for this Kiwi accent. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. <laughs> that is such a thick Kiwi accent. I do realise I do have a bit of a Kiwi accent because I'm from there. Um, so it's almost insulting my own people. Now she should be putting that pin. See how the frame rate just crapped out again. It's um, it's just departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. It's um, it's GSX causing it. Definitely. 
Now you can see the sheer size of the aircraft as we step in like that, as uh, compared to a human. Massive engines, not as big as the triple seven, of course. Um, but um, we're still waiting on PMDG to release that. I shouldn't say still waiting as if I'm annoyed by that. Um, these things do not... Oh! The tug didn't drive through the columns. He's driven through the columns last time. Uh, he's driving through my um, ground power supply though. Which is disconnected, isn't it? Yes, it is. Locking gear. Anyway, okay. So we want to do a quick edit pushback. Um, bear with me. Going to... Where are we? Oh, it's already, it's already put us in the right place. Okay, sweet. So we'll just hit Entity enter on that. Editing mode. Release mode. Parking and release. I need to release my parking brake. That's not my parking brake. It was strobe lights. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. I will do that. We're going to start both at the same time because you can in this aircraft. There's no um, there's no bleed. Go. Just wait for N2 to get up over twenty percent. There it is already, uh, so we'll go fuel flow one and two on. How good does that sound? She's dangerously close to a um a Trent 1000 that's starting up. Oh, Old Summer has just gone live. Is he doing the... Ah, he's not doing the 787. Come on, dude. You of all people would have had that. My... Oh. That fuel pump needs to be on. So I've got three warnings uh, packs left and right are not on. TCAS is off um, and wing anti ice. Oh, actually, they can all be on because the engines have started and settled. So we'll go wing uh, anti ice on. Uh, packs can come on. Um, everything else all looks to be good apart from the uh, frame rate decrease. I can only apologise for... I wish I had a better version of um, Auckland Airport. This is the paid one. Maybe I should have gone for the free one. So it's quite a short taxi t uh, this time because we're just going to head straight um, ahead. We're straight up here and then we're going to turn right. And up and take off from up here. Oh, I certainly can. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. A good engine start. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Unlocking gear. Cockpit to ground. That is the generic Microsoft Flight Simulator voice for sure. Okay, while we're waiting on that, let's um, get flaps to five. My um, thrust levers were up. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Oh, is she showing us the pin? Where are you? Where is you? Should be... Oh, there she is. She's taking the pin out now. And she will actually show it to us. Thank you. God, those engines look good. It's amazing how few blades are on these um, 
new generation engines compared to the much older aircraft. Is she going to show me the pin? She should do it twice and then, yep, once, and then she'll wave it. There we go. And hurry up and get off the apron. Thank you. Have a good, weird, she's, <laughs> she's, she's strutting. Nice. Okay. Um, so we do need to go auto break to RTO. I'm just going to do a quick double check because um, I'm not using checklists. So I have gone and um, overridden them all. Everything all looks like it is on as it should be. Yes. Uh, taxi lights need to be on. There we go. Um, right, let's um, get a parking brake off and head out. I'll give her a little bit of juice just to get her moving. But this will um, taxi on idle quite nicely. See how that frame rate's changed? It's much smoother since GSX has um, done its thing. Is it clear to the left? Yes. Has been a couple of 787-9s in Auckland since I've been setting up this morning. And I'm going to hurry up and get her up to uh, 10,000 because uh, I need to pee. Taxi is so smooth. Oh, there's another 787 9. What livery have you got on? I can't see what that is from here. I don't know what that is. Bamboo. I don't remember seeing. There must be liveries on flightsim.to already. That was quick. Um, Horizon Simulations did release a paint kit. Uh, which I haven't installed um, and I'm keen to because um, as an example they have Qantas's Yam Dreaming livery uh, as the thumbnail and I think that means that they might have elements of it there which means you can probably create it. Uh, I've never ever done anything like that before so um, that would be cool. I can't have a PC uh, for a, a, a week and a half or two weeks and already start releasing my own livery packs that's um, so sort of crawling before you can walk. No, the other way around. Walking before you can crawl. I think I've done pretty well with all the add-ons. Um, I've got 650 gigabytes worth of add-ons downloaded in one weekend. I'm just going to give her another bit of juice. Just not moving that quick. Should get up to 30 knots on um, idle. And when I did my initial flight last night uh, from Heathrow to uh, Frankfurt, it was just every aircraft I saw on the server was 787-9. Um, um, okay, so we do need to go uh, landing lights on, taxi lights off. Uh, we need a strobe on and we do need to um, turn our TCAS to TARA. Uh, brake set to RTO, flaps are at 5 don't need to arm the spoiler because we're in a Boeing. Um, parking brakes. Uh, we do need to um, ding, need to ding them. Parking brakes uh, off. And let's, oh, we better check that we're clear. Nothing coming in, nothing going out. The runway is ours. So quite a long runway here in Auckland. I'm going to um, use as much of it as I possibly can. I love these massive windows too. And the fact there's only four of them, whereas the um, 737 A320 have six. I think the A350 only has four as well. Also, I think that's a technology change thing. The, the bigger windows in a pressurized environment. Um, has come with modern technology. Is that going to be a good lineup? That is an excellent lineup, if I do say so myself. Okay, so we're going to go 
pitch forward a little bit and we'll go power up to about 50 or 60 percent and where's my toga button there it is and toga and we'll probably try and keep her center come on get center Config stabilizer. Bugger off. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Passing 100. V1. V1. Rotate. Positive rate of climb gear is coming up. And we probably should uh, straighten her up a little bit. I'm still getting used to the um, the uh, nav display. It's not the classic straight lines that I'm used to. Oh, that's just gorgeous. And we'll go autopilot on. Wow. Uh, we can go flaps to one. There's Auckland. And flaps up. That was stunning, that takeoff. Definitely happy with that. Crappy frame rate's back again. <laughs> okay. So 5,000 feet already. She is an absolute climber. I love the wing flex as well. They've just everything is a, about this is just gorgeous. I don't think um, a Sobo and working title have got anything on this. I know they, it's their base aircraft, but um, yeah, no, it, this is incredible. Also, in case you're wondering too, I do have the All Blacks version, but I thought it's a bit. Um, cliche to, to fly that one. That will be flown uh, in a long haul video I'll be doing um, December I think. I've got some Christmas specials coming up. Uh, we're going to do another flight out of Auckland um, but we're going to fly Auckland to San Francisco which is 13 hours. Um, so it'll be the longest flight I've ever done in the flight sim. Okay coming up to 10,000 so we can lose the uh, landing lights. And we should um, pop our speed up to 297 knots as we get up to cruise. Um, I'll wait till our speed gets up to the 297, then we'll go seatbelts off. And then um, that's us. So that took two minutes, two minutes from takeoff to, um, to 10,000 feet. That is just amazing. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Okay, we'll wait until we straight up, straighten up. Awesome, we'll go seatbelts off. Seatbelts weren't even on. <laughs> oh well. Um, oh, that just ruined a perfectly good takeoff. Anyway, um, I'll come back to you guys once we um, get up a little bit higher um, and get up over into the Pacific Ocean. Um, but um, so far, thank you very much for. Um, for uh, stopping by and checking out the floor.
Okay, we're just about to hear the chime um, to signify that we are coming up to our um, cruise altitude. We have been in the air for 16 minutes and we're at 39,000 feet. That is absolutely incredibly impressive. Um, the climb rate has not dropped below a thousand feet per minute um, the entire time. I've been watching it the entire time and currently we're climbing at 1300 feet per minute. 1350 it's going up. Um, this machine is absolutely incredible and um, I hear they have modelled it pretty close to the actual real thing. Um, I've watched a, a few YouTubers who are actual pilots of um, the 787 fly this and they, they have nothing but amazing things to say about it. So if you do have the premium deluxe version and I will um, point out you do need the premium deluxe version um, because this is modelled on the 787-10 which comes with it. Um, you can just head to flightsim.to and download this or you can, um, I don't know where I got it from but I've got the, the headwind uh, installer and that's how I um, got the, the 787. I don't remember how I got the headwind installer though, there's the chime by the way, 40,000 feet coming up to 41. Um, it, but it downloaded and I mean I've got pretty quick internet, it downloaded in less than two minutes. It's a 1.8 gig file, it was just bang and it was there. Uh, livery packs are separate, you get them in flightsim.to as well. That took a little bit longer, um, I think because when I jumped on everyone was jumping on um, the, the, um, the, the website and there are reports of some who were unable to download them. But you should be able to get them now, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, um, the bulk of the hardcore simmers have, uh, have gone in and grabbed their copy. Um, but uh, yeah, it is absolutely amazing. Check out the Kuro 787-8. I've been flying that a little bit too, and that's a lot of fun. Made by the same development team. Um, and yeah, like I said, check out their Latin VFR um, upgrades. Um, it, it turns what is essentially something really shit that I have been flying on Xbox for a long time into something that is absolutely amazing. Anyway, that's us at 41,000 feet. Uh, 17 minutes from ground level, pretty much sea level, which is where Auckland lies at. Uh, to cruise altitude 41,000 um, and that is just it is just such a nice plane um, I think the frame rate has definitely improved um, a little bit since getting in the air uh, so um, I'm, I'm glad to see smooth uh, frame rates for the flight and um, one thing also I'll point out is I didn't turn off the APU. <laughs> I realised that I had the APU on at about um, 20,000 feet. So um, yeah, that could have been disastrous. That would have burned through a hell of a lot of fuel uh, that we didn't need to. Anyway, guys, I'll do the usual um, uh, some uh, 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 cruise altitude, uh, nice shots, etc. with some music playing in the background. Um, but before I go and do that, uh, so our arrival time is 0125 Zulu. Currently it is uh, 23... 10 Zulus that gives us 2 hours and 15 minutes until we arrive in Nandi. So this thing is shooting across the Pacific like an absolute bullet at Mach 8, uh, sorry, 0.847. Um, a lot quicker than the uh, 737 did it. And um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be back to you guys um, just before we hit top descent um, for our top descent planning and then um, also uh, for the descent and then um, increment, incremental uh, all the way down until we um, make our approach into Nandi. I don't mind being right, even when we got in a row. I kind of like, I kind of like making it up as we go. Uh -uh. And ever since the second we went, you first cut my eye. I know you were different, written all the ways I like. I won't hide that I'm right.
every time that you think it's gone too far We come a long way and I know that it's only just begun Cause if you think that loving someone else could ease your mind Let me just remind you dear of all the hills we've climbed and I don't mind I'll be right even when we get it Okay, it's been two hours and 10 minutes since we took off from Auckland um, and we're just coming up to our top of descent, uh, well not top of descent, sorry, 40 miles away from top of descent, in fact, pretty much on it right now. Uh, so let's uh, have a look at some um, information in the um, in the FMS, FMC, flight computer, I can't remember what these are called. Uh, I know the Air Plus ones in the MIC do, or MCDU. Um, so if I go to our index page for a start, this is a little bit different to the, um, to the 737. Um, I don't need to put anything in here apart from my um, final flap speed, which I won't do until closer to the ground. But usually you'll be probably landing on flaps um, 25 with 144 knots. Um, I got a VNAV. I'm just fumbling my way through this, really. Descent. Uh, if I go forecast, just double check. Transition level is 130. That is, yep, that is correct. Um, what does descent page have? You yeah, know, that's nothing. Oh, what's on the next page? Oh, just that. Okay, cool. So, all I think we need to do is put in our um, step down altitude, which will be, I'm going to put in, uh, well, that's 297. I'm going to put in 280 as our first one. Um, and then when we get close to that, I'll. Um, I'll uh, keep us going down. I do need to check the, um, the Q&H um, in Nandi at the moment. I will bring up the weather because, it, oh, it's just updated. That is so good. I've been looking at it and worried for ages. Um, so this is, as of four minutes ago, um, 340 at 11 knots. The wind has dropped. It's been sitting on around 15, 16 knots uh, for the whole trip. And it is more in line with um, uh, the runway, uh, the 02 end of the runway. Um, so it, um, it's still a crosswind. Uh, which I'm just no good at, but um, that's that's much better. Uh, temperature 30 degrees and scattered clouds and QNH2 niner decimal niner one. So that's pretty good news um, for us, really. Um, so if I just go in here, I need to put in, I need to pre-populate our QNH, which will be. I mean, it's more or less going to be standard. It's, it's uh, decimal zero one away from it. Um, so. 29901. What else do I need to put in? We've already put in. Oh, I've already put in the um, altitude. Um, oh, the uh, the um, the um, the um, the uh, decision height. Or uh, so, missed approach, climb gradient, minimum five percent, fifteen hundred feet. Two point five percent, three fifty. I think our decision height is three five zero. We'll put in two four zero. Um, it doesn't have category A, B, C, or D on this at all. I think we are in a category D, um, but we will put in. I'll put in two four zero. Oh shit! That went up real fast. I do like it how it does that, but it catches me out every single time. Ah, oh, see, I'm just going to go backwards and forwards. I won't go up. That's, now it's going to go up in small increments. As soon as I just... Oh, there we go. We're getting close. If you spin it fast, um, it goes up 
in hundreds, I think. 240, so leave that there as is. Now, when I flew this yesterday, it didn't automatically descend at the top of the descent marker. Um, so I'm just going to keep an eye on it now. As our heading correction should be 353. That didn't change. Oh, it's because I changed the wrong one. These, it's... The, the um... The grab points of these dials are so small, but that's that's not um, that's not anything on Horizon Sim. It's um, I think it's just the design of the aircraft, because uh, it's the same on the um, on the Asobo Working Title one as well, and the Kuro. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to do something. Oh yeah, that's right. These bring up um, Volanta because um, I've never shown this on here before because I've never had it, um, and you can't use it on Xbox anyway because it connects directly into um, the Sim. But you can see that this is me here, and we're coming into Fiji here. I was just looking at it before. Look at this. So this is um, going someone going from Sydney to San Francisco on the seven eight seven nine. Got someone go. That's not. That's not what I'm looking at. Um, is that someone coming into? Oh my. No, actually, I saw this one. Someone coming from Vancouver to Auckland in the A three twenty Neo. Not sure how that's exactly possible. Um, maybe they have fuel in lieu of passengers. Uh, there's another 787 going from Sydney to San Francisco, Sydney to LAX, uh, that's A330, probably the headwind one, which is a fantastic aircraft by the way, uh, going from Melbourne to, uh, is it Dallas-Fort Worth, KDTW, um, Sydney to LAX in the, in the uh, Dash 9, uh, LAX to Sydney in the 330, everyone is doing long, I didn't realise how many people did long haul travel, oh and, um, okay, so we just started our descent. Cool, so it did automatically do that. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy looking at Volanta, um, which is a free app, by the way, and I'm not plugging it because they asked me to. They have no idea who I am. Anyway, we have started to make our descent down into the Fiji Islands, or Nandi. Um, beautiful day here across the Pacific. Uh, the weather has been really, really nice so far. Um, currently the weather, uh, wind is uh, 267 at 30, um, considering we're at 40,000 feet that's, uh, that's pretty pretty low. But um, I will uh, keep this going down and uh, I'll come back um, once we um, get down a little bit lower and uh, are on our way to making our approach. Okay, we're just coming down to flight level 180. It's been literally four, maybe five minutes since um, since we started descending. Uh, this thing is just an absolute monster when it comes to um, climbing and descending. It is going down so smooth. It's holding its speed. Um, oh, I'm absolutely loving it. 60 miles away uh, or so from Fiji. Actually, let's have a proper look. Look at our programming. Uh, 50, 59 miles exactly, nautical miles. Um, so coming in at 133 Zulu, uh, which is in another uh, 17 minutes. Um, weather, I don't think I have an update. No, I don't, it hasn't changed at all. Um, which, uh, well, I mean, this is, I haven't had an update for 17 minutes. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, but um, I'm really nervous about the landing because um, while since moving to PC, my landings have definitely improved because um, I didn't realize wasn't just my terrible landing skills but um i'm just nervous about uh landing such a beautiful aircraft um on a uh, reasonably long flight um and having to start to decide what i do with the footage after that um but um i haven't had to re-record anything yet so we'll uh we'll see what happens anyway um uh, i'll get this uh buried down a little bit further and we'll come back um once we're below or at uh ten thousand we're at um uh fifteen and a half just about down to uh ten thousand now ten thousand six hundred so i have actually put out the um speed brake because our speed is now wanting to get under um, 250. In fact, it is taking us down to 240 knots, so I'll just keep the speed brake up um, for a little bit. And um, But we are getting close to uh, being on a final, um, so about 37 nautical miles away, thereabouts. Oops, lose the speed brake. Uh, we probably do need to get um, the uh, landing lights on. 
um, seatbelts I've already put on and I've also um, uh, changed the RQ&H to, uh, to niner at decimal, niner at one, um, because uh, obviously we would blow 13,000. Uh, also, I need to uh, go into approach. I think we can choose, come on, uh, one, four, three at flaps two, five. Okay, cool. Do I need to execute that? I don't think I do, no. Uh, so one, four, three is our landing speed. Actually, I'll just leave that page open because I probably will need to refer back to it. And we'll just uh, keep her coming in. Almost 20 miles. This thing's fast. God, this is a f it's so fast. It's unbelievably good. If you are on PC and you do have Premium Deluxe, I highly recommend getting this. Um, this is possibly the best in fact it is it is the best wide body um in the sim right now without a doubt i mean the kuro is pretty good too um and they will be bringing the uh, efb updates into the kuro um obviously it's the same team it's the same people um and they've been working hard on this and holy shit you can see how hard th this is just epic also before i said we're 20 miles away we were at with 30. Uh, I cannot say enough about this, about this add-on. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, let's go uh, f flaps one. You can see our ILS is starting to um, populate already, which is awesome. In fact, let's hit approach now. And let's go uh, flaps to five. Uh, we might actually put speed brake out it's um, being a bit weird uh, what is our CRS uh, 25 degrees oh shit ah oh, come on keep losing the click spot and um, adjusting my um, my <laughs> okay we're just waiting to... no can we do it now oh we're already there Far out. That is the, the, something that's very frustrating. Okay, we'll lose the flat. Ah, uh, the speed brake. I'm actually going to arm the spoilers now as well. Should be able to see the runway up ahead. Oh, it's right in front of us. Excellent. Okay, let's go flaps 10. Just before the diamond hits, we're going to go gear down. I've got a special bind for that. That is cool. I just did that view while um, while we're in cruise. That is quite the view. Okay, so we've, we're on glide. Um, what is our missed approach? Missed approach climb gradient uh, min 5% to 1500. 1500 is our missed approach? Um, okay. Wow. That can't be right. Apparently it is. Okay, cool. Let's um, put that in then. I uh, need to drop our speed. No. We're going to go flaps 15. Continue. Just check everything is all good. Spoilers are armed. That's all good. Speed brake is... Uh, auto brake is set. What am I missing? What am I missing? Ability. Seatbelts are on. 
Yep. Okay, let's go. Flaps 20. And speed down to 153. So 10 above our final landing speed. I don't know if that's procedure. Tell me if I'm doing that wrong. Um, it seems to work. How's that wind? Alright, I'm nervous. Still sets 11. What am I getting? I'm getting 6. She looks like it's dropping off. Which is nice. Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was going to level out, level out at fifteen hundred for a second there. Uh, just coincidentally, as out of marker, uh, coincidentally just started leveling off as we reached fifteen hundred. But it's just um, porpoising us in. I feel like I'm sitting too high in my seat. Is that better? Continue. Might be a better view. Okay. Let's go flaps uh, final 25. And speed 143. Actually, just before we touch down, I'm going to just double check. It's still 143 it is. Yes. And. Can't get that. Oh, there we go. That view might be a bit better. I just feel like I'm up too high. Wind is gusting. I'm going to rely on the um, ILS to take us in. Oh, jeez. Just feel like we're too low. Where's the pappies? Oh, I'll leave it. I don't want to do any zooming. Come on. Don't mess this up. Okay, I'm going to have to. Because we are coming in too low. Oh my god. That was actually really good for, for me. Oh, pretty much centre line. Maybe a little off to the left. Turn reverse, by the way. Holy dooly. Okay, manual brake. <laughs> that was... I'm so happy with that. Uh, Stow reverses before we burn out engines. Oh my god. And we'll uh, get rid of the flaps as well. That was... That was... Oh, I'm speechless. Brain rate has uh, gone a little bit on this airport, but... Um, I thought it would have been a bit better. That's okay. Alrighty, we need to... <laughs> wow, I just want to go and dance. Uh, we need to lose landing lights. Um, the uh, Where is the strobe? Strobes can go. We'll turn the taxi lights on. Uh, parking... Oh, not parking. Uh, Seatbelts can remain and we'll... Put a little power in and we'll get to the terminal. Honestly, that was, that was fucking cool. <laughs> After leaving it on for the first 15 minutes of the flight, I haven't got the APU started. We are going to turn in here and head to the International Terminal. Hear the APU firing up. Probably should go below 17 knots taxium. This is um, paid add-on scenery by the way. Okay, so it has designated that gate for us. I don't know if I want that gate. Fucking hell. SPS. FPS out the window. Um, I do not want that gate. I want one of the big gates around the corner. Okay, we should have a 787 
parking spot. Oh, it's amongst there. I'm not very good at parking from inside the um, inside the flight deck, so I'd cheat and do it from the outside. And about there. Perfect. Uh, so parking brake on. And we'll stutter our way down to the centre um, pedestal and shut down. Uh, beacon can go off. And we have got external power available, so we'll turn that on. And let's um, call up GSX. Okay, we've got a jetway. Um, GSX is failing me massively. Um, so external power's on, we can get the APU turned off. Um, and we'll turn off the packs. Uh, we'll turn off, we'll just turn everything off that was off, I guess. Um, I'm assuming that's how it works. Uh, Navy light can stay on. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got a jetway. Awesome, seat belts can go off. Sweet, welcome to a very stuttery Fiji. Um, God, that's annoying. Oh, it pisses me off. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you did enjoy the flight. The landing was fantastic, I have to say. Um, the taxi, I'm very mediocre. Um, I probably will put a support ticket in. What's the freaking point? Because they just um, tell you to uninstall everything and reinstall it, no matter what platform we're on. Anyway, um, so this has been my first flight for two weeks. First one on PC, and I'm glad that I could uh, have you along for the ride. Um, uh, welcome to new subscribers, too. Uh, the, the subscriber numbers just keep going up and up and up, and I'm really, really grateful for it. Um, and for those of you who haven't subscribed, thank you for watching all the same uh, guys will be another video coming out in the next uh, 36 to 48 hours which is a bonus flight um, so don't forget to catch that on the channel and um, I'll catch you guys real soon